So yes, uh, La Famille Forestier, so the descendants of this chateau de Vendeuvre, um, actually have um, family roots and origins from Flandre, so from Belgium. Uh, so yeah, that's a really interesting little fact. And yeah, as I was, I, as I was saying, um, the chateau was actually, unfortunately, during the Second World War, it was um, damaged. Uh, there was quite a lot of damage. So they came in through here during the Second World War with tanks and um, they came through and basically they dropped some bombs very, very near the chateau. Um, not on the chateau, but it was enough to blow the roof um, completely off nearly and all the windows were shattered and they had to completely empty the chateau out of all its contents and luckily the interior um, the furniture and all the woodwork and everything wasn't actually um, it wasn't ruined it wasn't completely ruined so they could salvage a lot of what was in the chateau but yes there you go so um, it has uh, gone through quite a bit of renovation work over the years uh, during the you know the 50s the 60s especially the 70s and the 80s they they did a lot a lot of work as well So yes, Le Forestier family, when they decided to, um, to purchase uh, this home back in the 1700s, um, they asked an, an architect actually to build it for them. Um, so his name is Jacques Francois Blondel and they wanted um, a country home basically so that they could come here obviously on their holidays they wanted somewhere beautiful and bright and full of colors they wanted it decorated exquisitely um, with beautiful ornate decor and um, they wanted it to be a real country home and they call this in french the maison des champs so it's called a, yeah that's the term they use and um, yeah, and it really is, it does have that real manor country home feel about it. So they wanted that real kind of country home manor to retreat to, the country retreat. And here we have now the Chateau de Vendeuve. And yes, and so um, the family still live here today, Le Forestier family. The Count, the seventh, the seventh Count of uh, Vendeuvre, and he lives here with his family. And it is absolutely stunning. The closer you get to it, the more beautiful it, it really is.
beautiful garden, aren't they? It's sunny, wasn't it? Mm. Absolutely sunny. I love all the little water features everywhere. Yeah. Like, like little mini waterfalls. And you know, the big ponds with a little with a tiny little ponds around. Yeah, lots of water. Mm. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It smells really nice around like you can the smell the mint and the herbs. No way. <laughs> oh there's loads of mint here. That smells delicious. That smells gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. And yes, they do have their swans. And lots of ducks. Oh, it's lovely. Beautiful. What do you think so far? Well, I think it's very beautiful. Definitely, uh, I loved the museum, the miniature museum so far. And the gardens are beautiful. They're very relaxed and although they're manicured, they're very dreamy and it's all full of water and lovely scents. But I can't wait to get in now. Yeah, time to go inside. Yeah, let's go. So La Famille Forestier uh, are actually direct descendants of Queen Matilda from Belgium. So they do indeed have Belgium roots. Just a little fact there, really interesting.
So um, the Maison de Vendeuvre, uh, the Chateau de Vendeuvre, is actually um, a historic, it's been classified as a historic monument um, in France and as a refined example of the Maison de Campagne, the country homes of the 18th century in France. And this is a Parisian table service. Yeah, very beautiful. And the beautiful big windows in here, these wonderful, huge windows in here. Look at them, how big they are. And there's many, and the big mirror that lots of fruits, exotic fruits, pineapples, signs of prosperity and wealth and all those things. These chateau country manor houses, especially this one, is very famous for its art de vivre, which is all about showing us exactly about how they live and their lifestyle. And there's plenty of items and artifacts and game, board games, tables with games and yeah, card game over there, a table with card games. And you see the animals were of a lot of importance to them as well. There's pictures and paintings of lots of their pets everywhere.
And now we're going to pass into another room. Mm. This is a little bedroom. I think it was actually the Chambre de l'Honneur. Oh, this is a lovely room. And this is a very famous light chandelier fitting with a red fish it's like in a fish bowl in the chandelier. And I believe there's only three of these that exist in the world. There are secret doors everywhere. They disguise, aren't they? Yes. And it's typical for a chateau to have rooms that can interconnect one in from one room to the other. And this is the salle à manger room of the pastel salle à manger room. Above the big open doors, they're all decorated and hand painted with various different country scenes, scenes of the countryside, of the rivers, going boating, laying on the grasses and having picnics, or working the land and washing in the rivers. I believe this is the little, well, little, it's the office room. C'est le bureau, uh, yeah, and it's like the smoking room. Why? Why tu vois? Le bureau, l'ancien bureau, tu vois? Oh, c'est beau ça. Yeah. Est-ce que c'est un Louis XVI? Ce genre mm -hmm. de. Ce genre de meuble. Ce style. C'est Louis XVI.
face of chandelier in the shape of a balloon. The hot air balloon. That's so cool. I love that. Love that. I certainly love that animals. So there we are everybody, um, that's the end of this visit, I've tried to just put as much as I could into this video, as many pictures and yeah videos of everything I could, so I hope you've really enjoyed it, if you do have any questions don't hesitate to ask me, I'll leave any more information down in the description below for you and um, until the next time, I don't know which chateau it will be next time but I will be doing another chateau tour yet again and um, so yeah that will be a surprise but i hope you all have a brilliant day a brilliant week and i'll see you soon and also yes please don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video much appreciated and thank you to all my new subscribers take care everyone bye